Hey, Morgan. Yeah. Thanks well, for thanks for picking me up. Wow. Well, thank you, Daniel, for coming along. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just think of me as the voice of uh, your loyal Facebook fans, and uh, we've got some we've got some uh, very important questions for you. Very important questions. Yeah, I think so. Am I in trouble? No, no, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So let's just get started. Would you rather? Would you rather have the wings of a bird or the gills of a fish? Oh, good question. I think uh, I know about some birds, they're called gannets, and they live so well at sea that I think I'd like that. I'd be a bird like that. Okay, okay. Yep. If acting didn't exist, what job could you imagine doing? If acting didn't exist, what job could I imagine doing? You know, I used to imagine myself uh, being a chauffeur. Because there came a time when I thought it was all over. I thought my my career had reached its, pe its pinnacle, its peak. Yeah. This was in 1980, 81, 82. Uh, so I, what am I going to do then? What am I going to do? I was living in New York. Oh, I know what. I'll go down to the tax and limousine service, get a license, and I'll get a job as a chauffeur. Is that um, how you got the gig Ms. for Hope? Miss Daisy. Driving Miss Daisy? No. Uh, no, no, no. But it was no. fulfilling. Uh, it came like a uh, few years later. Uh, yeah. That story, that play, that wonderful play. Well, it's a job. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right. Yep. If you had a time machine, when and where would you uh, like to go? If I had a time machine... I think if I could leap into the future, I'd go 100 years. Just... Future? Yeah. Fascinating. What movie could you watch over and over? A couple. One is Baz Luhrmann's uh, Moulin Rouge. The other one is uh, Clint Eastwood's uh, The Outlaw of Josie Wales. Yeah. Never passed. The Life of Pi. Cool, cool. And the Life of Pi? Yeah. Yeah, you that one that too. Life. Phenomenal yeah, film. But that, you know, it's, but, you got to choose right. said two. one or two out of the <laughs> 150 of exactly. the name. If you could choose to be cryogenically frozen or uploaded to computer, which would it be? <laughs> no, neither of them. you got to choose. So you just, we just have to acknowledge to stay here, I suppose. Um, uh, see, the problem with being frozen. It's a possibility of losing the wherewithal to thaw out. Mm. Plus, you don't like being cold. I really don't <laughs> like being cold. Good answer. So, uh, geez, uh, it's, it's not a question I can really answer because neither one of them is. I don't see any positive in either one. Well, you know, if you if you became AI, you can always be uploaded into a robot and continue to live your life. No, uploaded into a robot is not living your life. It's just being here. You can get a job at Disneyland, and you know, <laughs> or you can get a job working for Waze, because I know a lot of people out there want that. Once you tell them where to go. All right. This is what happens when you get into a car full of wits. <laughs> <laughs> I know, some that don't want him to tell him where to go. <laughs> Peanut gallery in the back there, huh? Sorry. <laughs> if you could change your voice, what would it sound like? Why would Who would change that? my voice? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, Mickey Mouse. Um, if I could change it, I would sound like Jack Nicholson. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Like... Very unique. Who is the greatest villain of all time? The oh. greatest villain of all time, real or imagined? Right. I mean, this is real this is for you to interpret, sir. Adolf. Ooh. Yeah, okay, he was a bad one. Oh, uh, man. Yeah. We don't even know how bad yet. No. Mm. I don't know that we ever will. Outside the U.S., what's your favorite city? Outside of the U.S., it's a toss-up between Rome and Paris. I was thinking the same thing. What's the last book you read? Can't remember. Who's that by? Uh, me. Smart Alec. Oh. Mm-hmm. Another smart Alec in the truck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you 
Bob Lewis. Yeah. Yeah. He has to be. That's his job. <laughs> I really can't remember the last book I read. I, I read into a few, but I'm now completely spoiled. Number one, by uh, television, and number two, by all of the gun to the head reading I have to do. Mm. You're reading Sapien right now? Yeah. I'm about to send you. Books and I said we want to do this. You got to read the book. Send your script. You got to read the script. Edit, 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 edit. Who would you like to shadow for a week? Shadow? Yeah. I'm not going to say. Okay. Let's move on to the next one then. Can you whisper it? I'm not no, even going to whisper, whisper it. You know how many guys are losing their careers? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Not going there. Some right? smart. <laughs> Is there a role you wish you could have played? There are a few roles I wish I could have played. Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite piece of technology? Well, I guess it must be my iPad because uh, it carries my uh, computerized uh, solitaire. So I'm totally and absolutely addicted to Crossword puzzles. And, well, crossword puzzles. <laughs> a few scripts. And, and yeah, I mean, I carry all, all the scripts. I have them sent uh, to my iPad so they're easier to read and carry and all that. I don't have to have a knapsack full of scripts. <laughs> Would you rather fly a Zeppelin or pilot a submarine? I, I'd rather pilot a submarine. As long as I'm in command, I don't give up. You know, I mean, if I was piloting the Zeppelin and riding in the submarine, I'd want to be in the Zeppelin. But you say pilot the submarine, absolutely, I go for that. Dive, dive, dive. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your go-to comfort food? Zone. Comfort go- food. Food. Your go-to comfort food. <sighs> Pasta Molinese. Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. That's my go-to comfort food. Who makes you laugh the most? Who? Yeah. Who? Who? I don't know. That's that's the question I'd have to digest and try and regurgitate in some real sense. I don't know. <laughs> it makes me laugh the most. I don't laugh a lot unless I'm watching a comedy show or something. You know? <laughs> All right. Well, we can we circle. We can to, circle back. We've left it. My oh, left I know who. Trey Crowder. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 all right. Yeah. The yeah, uh, liberal redneck. Liberal redneck. Yeah. No, oh, he's phenomenal. <laughs> yeah. huh? So funny. No, 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 he's he's hysterical. So, Santa words. so on the money. <laughs> if you could adopt any wild animal, what would it be? Oh, I'd get myself a big old cat. Like a tiger. Or a leopard. Or something. Yeah. 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 What's left on your bucket list? Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. We'll save that for another uh, podcast. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and what I tell everybody, just uh, the basic truth, is I want to get a uh, best picture uh, number one nomination and award for the company for Revelations. I want us to produce a best picture. And what I want, I get. Uh, uh, uh. No one's going to argue with you there. Right. Who would you like to be serenaded by? <laughs> Frank Sinatra. <clears throat> <clears throat> Luck be a lady <laughs> tonight. Frank <Very> Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Let's just. Let's, let's, let's send it. Let's send it back to you. I'll <laughs> send it back to you. All right. Now I'd like to play a quick game. Uh, we like to call Morgan Freeman on Morgan Freeman. Morgan on Morgan. Morgan on Morgan. And I'm just going to ask you some uh, multiple choice questions about your career. Oh really? Yes, sir. You ready? I think. Okay. <laughs> According to IMDb, how many movies have you acted in? Is it A. 95, B. 108. C, 120, or D, 145? Yeah, one of those. Uh. <laughs> hey, 
always go for C if you don't know. Uh, I would guess around 108. It's actually C, 120. Oh. But, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's close enough. All right, next question. Yeah. As of today, how many Facebook followers does Morgan Freeman have? Is it A, just over 17 million, B, 18 million, C, 19 million, or D, 3.7 billion? Probably B. On the money. Got it. All right. Woo. Are we getting money for this cash? <laughs> right. <laughs> this, this video is going to change all of that. According to IMDb, Morgan Freeman has appeared as himself how many times? Is it A, 219, B, 314, C, 196, or D, 52? There's a differing way to take that question him now. Say, well, has he ever, uh, is he one of those actors who could be another character, or is he always himself? Right. Or is it how many places have I what shown up as myself? Right. Is it, you know, like if you go on TV to promote something, you're, you're going as yourself. Yeah. So I don't know how to answer. Well, IMDb means all of that. So it's all of the above. Fine. I don't okay. know. Okay. Was that an E, all of the above? <laughs> we, we could roll with that. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually B, 314. 314? 314. 314 times? Yes, sir. I've appeared as myself somewhere in public. Only 314. Well, you did well 315 yesterday. now because of Facebook Live, right? Yeah, does, this yeah. count? does this go up on IMDb? As anyway. Himself? Next question. According to IMDb, what was your first uncredited role? Was it A, party guest, B, man on the street, C, grand central commuter, or D, man in restaurant? Uncredited. I think because there was somebody that grabbed some of the uh, a little bit of the footage of it. I think it was the party guest. It was actually B, Man on the Street. I have no other information on that for you. I don't know what they're talking about. Well, what man they're on not the always correct either. Mm. No. <laughs> All right. Finish this. Unless it was the very oh. first time I played in the movie, which was when I was an extra. Uh, Sure. Anyway. Finish this Morgan Freeman quote. And some places you've been before are so great that you don't have a mind going back. Some places you've been before you don't ever want to go back. You know, like A, Florida in summer, B, Montreal in winter, C, Chicago when it's windy, or D, Seattle when it's raining. No, that would be Montreal in the wintertime. On the money. You got it. <laughs> yeah. we, all, we all had that one. Um, all right. Next question. Actually, yeah. We're just going to put, put these movies in order from earliest to latest. A, Bruce Almighty. B, The Bucket List. C, Glory. And D, Seven. Okay. Um, glory is first. Seven is after that. Uh, what was the... Another one. Uh, the bucket list. Uh, the bucket list of and, that group. And Bruce Almighty. And Bruce, and Bruce Almighty. Almighty. The bucket list out of that was last. Right. Bruce Almighty was before that. That's absolutely correct. On the money. All right. We've got one more question uh, for you. According to IMDb, how many episodes of Electric <laughs> Company were you on? How many episodes? <laughs> yeah, was it A, 431, B, 540, C, 620, or D, 780? Uh, I'd probably go for the biggest, largest number. Yeah, I mean, you'd be right. right. <laughs> well, that was great. Ding, ding, I think ding, this ding, is where ding. I get out. All right, fine. Congrats. Thank you so much. Congrats and have a great night. Thank you so hey, much, thanks. Daniel. Okay. Miss you already, uh, Daniel. Uh, over five years. What is that, 71, 79? Killer, dude.